These are the mighty Karakoram and Hindu Kush mountain ranges of northern Pakistan. A chain of mighty peaks, gigantic glaciers, and rugged steep slopes. Yet surprisingly, these inhospitable mountains provide refuge to a wide array of plant and animal life. Markor and Ibex negotiate the high crags. Marmots always remain on the alert. Huge and imposing, the brown bear roams the valleys and plateaus. And the most enigmatic of them all, the snow leopard. Rules these mountains. The snow leopard is perfectly adapted for life in one of the world's highest mountain ranges. These cats dwell in steep terrain, so they ought to be good climbers. Their long hind limbs and muscular chest helps them in climbing and leaping. Its tail, which can be as long as its body, acts as a balancing rod. But even with such advantages, life is not easy in these mountains. Snow leopard is an apex predator in this alpine ecosystem. Their predation governs the population of undulates, which in turn influences the floral structure, thus shaping the niche of many smaller organisms down the food chain. Even the mighty golden eagle and the cunning red fox depends on snow leopard kills. Unfortunately, numbers of snow leopards are declining in the wild. An estimated 3,000 to 7,500 are left in its natural habitat. Pakistan is home to no more than 200 of them. There are a number of reasons to its dwindling population. Snow leopards require large territories to survive. Their home range can be as large as 1,600 square kilometers, crisscrossing international boundaries. With the explosion in human population, more people are moving into their natural habitat. Thus, their home range is shrinking fast, making it difficult for this shy and elusive animal to carve out a living. An adult snow leopard hunts a large animal every eight to 10 days on average. Due to hunting, poaching, and competition over grazing from livestock, the natural prey of snow leopards has dwindled in the recent years. Less food supply means difficult survival. Life is difficult for people in these rugged mountains. They depend to a great extent on their livestock. With a scarce natural prey, attacks on livestock by snow leopards have increased. Such attacks are not welcomed. In a conflict of man versus wild, it is ultimately the snow leopard that pays the price. Despite being a legally protected animal, 
snow leopard poaching continues. There is a high demand for its skin in the fur trade. Its body parts are used in traditional Asian medicine. What's even more alarming is that the number of snow leopards actually poached can be higher than estimated, since a lot of the poaching goes undetected. Temperatures are rising worldwide. The greater Himalayas as a whole is very sensitive to global climate change. Progressive increases in warming at high elevations are already occurring at approximately three times the global average. These temperatures are potentially catastrophic for the greater Himalayan peoples and ecosystems. It is creating significant cascading effects on river flows, groundwater recharge, natural hazards, and biodiversity. A crushing blow to the snow leopard's future is that by 2070, its alpine habitat will most likely shrink by one-third, and another third will be heavily fragmented, strangling the rope on its survival ever so tight. In the face of such dire need to step up for the conservation of these cats in Pakistan, the government of Pakistan, in partnership with the Snow Leopard Foundation, UNDP, and provincial governments, and with the support of Global Environment Facility, has initiated the Pakistan Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Protection Program. The Snow Leopard is an iconic uh, animal. It is also part of the natural heritage of Pakistan. And our government is committed to ensure its survival for the future, but we also take steps to create its uh, habitat conservation and also look after the ecosystem that it survives in. And we hope to uh, you know, keep this animal uh, there for our future generations and uh, so that it, it can always be associated with, uh, with Pakistan's uh, natural heritage. The overall aim of PSLEP is to promote a landscape approach to the survival of the snow leopard and its prey species. This will be achieved by reducing threats through conflict mitigation measures and applying sustainable land and forest management practices in critical habitats within northern Pakistan. The target area of the project covers crucial snow leopard habitats across the Himalaya, Karakoram, Pamir, and Hindu Kush mountain ranges of northern Pakistan. Four project components will serve to achieve these goals. To address threats to the highland Himalayan ecosystem of Pakistan, the project is adopting a landscape approach to conservation and resource management. Landscape management will essentially involve managing snow leopard model landscapes in an integrated and holistic fashion. All land usage practices in the target areas will be incorporated into a single management process. The project will develop and implement participatory monitoring of snow leopard, its prey species, as well as other endangered species. This is made possible by the latest monitoring techniques, such as camera trapping and molecular genetics. Trail cameras, basically, you put on a trail and they replace the observers and they work for you day and night for several weeks to capture movement of any species which passes by those trails. In that way, you develop not only the presence of your target species, but also the species which are sympathetic to your target animals. And you get information, for example, the home range, movement, as well as the interaction between the species. Molecular genetics is also promising in such trains. With the new developments, it allows you to extract DNA from remains are excretions of the animal instead of actually capturing animals. You collect a feces or hair, anything related to animals, use it to not only identify the species, but also the individuals which help you to estimate the population, similarly to understand relationship between them. This technology will reveal animal movement patterns, habitat utilization, and population demographics. Information vital for management responses. A 
Across the globe, only a fraction of the two million square kilometer of the suitable snow leopard habitat is protected. As a result, more snow leopards live outside the protected areas compared to living in them. PSLEP will expand the protected area in the snow leopard range in Pakistan through identification and mapping of pristine but unprotected snow leopard habitats. By achieving this, the project will contribute to the Global Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Protection Program's goals of securing 20 healthy populations of snow leopards across the CATS range by 2020. To strengthen the already protected area, PSLEP will develop forestry and wildlife staff capacities within the target areas to combat wildlife crimes and improve conservation outcomes. To achieve this, hotspots and pathways of illegal wildlife trade will be pinpointed and the department's abilities to organize targeted anti-poaching surveillance operations will be increased. The project will promote community-based natural resource management and reduce human-wildlife conflicts. Community-based surveillance, monitoring, and wildlife crime prevention systems will be developed to strengthen the protection of endangered species. To halt retaliatory snow leopard killings, the project will assist the community to safeguard their livestock from snow leopard predation with the construction of predator-proof corrals. Livestock vaccination is also an indispensable component for increased acceptance of snow leopard within the herder community. The logic is simple. If death to disease is minimized, herders will become more tolerant of snow leopard kills. The project will also develop alternative income sources for the local communities. The aim is to reduce their high dependence on natural resources. There is no doubt that the local communities are incognizant of the role we humans play in the destruction of natural habitats. In order to raise awareness about the fragility of ecosystems, the project will strategically run awareness campaigns on national, provincial, and local levels. Education and awareness efforts will assist local communities to safeguard existing resources, improve the ecology, and mitigate the hardships caused by lack of awareness. The iconic snow leopards and their fragile ecosystems can only be protected with the help and motivation of the communities that share their space. The project aims to engage and empower local communities by creating safety nets, alternative income sources, improved land management practices, capacity building, and awareness to protect our precious natural heritage in northern Pakistan. <laughs>